So I was surfing YouTube like every other plonker does, and I had a small epiphany. What if you take two totally different things you'd cook in the wild and combine them? There we go. Got my walleye for my catch and cook. All I'm doing is burning a little, um, what do you call it? A small purple Kai Tech on a quarter ounce head. Well, this one might not be legal. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. He's gonna be close. Eighth of an inch under the limit. All right, so I'm just slow rolling this little purple guy. Um, it's actually like purple and blue on a regular painted cheapo Bass Pro Shop uh, quarter ounce jig head, and they're hitting it. For some reason lately, these walleyes have really been tuned into the purple. There's another one. Hopefully it's bigger. We'll see here. <laughs> no, it's like the same exact size. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Quarter inch under. This one might be a better one. Maybe, hopefully. Never had such trouble catching a legal walleye. Funny. Funny, funny, funny. Walleye with uh, with dandelion honey, baby. Come on up. That one, I believe, is going to be legal. Very cool. We got our supper, boys. Skinny 15 and 3 quarter inch walleye here. They got to be 15 in this area. And the Kai Tech that I caught it on. All right, so to flay this bad boy, cut right behind the head, then go down the, down along the spine. It's been a few minutes since I flayed a walleye, so be uh, patient with me. I just like to take my time. There's no, uh, there's no rush. And you feel for the spine, you go above it, and then you follow the spine all the way down to the tail. Now I like to peel the meat away from the bone, like so. And then we kind of take it off the ribs right here. Hear those pin bones crack. And then straight off the ribs, just like that. And there we have it. Two more steps here. First one is to take the meat off of the skin. Nice and tight. You want your knife to be sharp for this. Beautiful. Very last step is to cut the pin bones out of the fillet like that. Just the right in the middle here. And then all you want to do is rinse and repeat on the other fillet, the other side of the fish. Just like that. Pin bones. Garbage. I know these are a little rough, but I haven't filleted a fish in months, so please give me a little slack. So it took me a lot longer than anticipated, but I have picked myself a gob of dandelions out of my front yard. So in this pot, we're going to put... All of our dandelions, we're gonna throw in about, I don't know, one lemon's worth, we can always add more, and one liter of water, baby. Okay, so I brought it up to a boil. Now I'm gonna turn the heat down and let it simmer for 30 minutes. So I'm letting it simmer here and the flower fragrance has really started to come out. It smells lovely. Okay, so now we're going to strain out all the dandelions and the lemons from the juice. There's a glass bowl beneath the strainer here. Perfect. We're just straining out that extra juice from the vegetation. And there's our beautiful dandelion juice. 
Now we're adding our dandelion juice back to the main pot, all skimmed off. Now we're adding one kilogram of sugar. And we're gonna let that stir, uh, stir and steep for an hour. Sitting here stirring it on and off for about an hour, it's become very nicely fragrant. So it took more than an hour, but turned out really nice and viscous. I'm gonna take these bad boys, boom, egg, and then boom, salted breadcrumbs. There we go, nice. Absolutely beautiful. Peanut oil, baby. Yeah, girl. It's starting to brown, so we're going to flip it. Yeah, girl, ain't that just beautiful? So I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of honey on this end piece here, and we are gonna try it out. All right, let's have another bite here of fried walleye with dandelion honey. Wow. Like that, that rich flavor of the fish with that sweetness of the honey. It's such an amazing pairing. Reminds me of when my chef friend used to uh, deep fry trout and walleye and add apple honey to them. Such a delicious pairing. Wow. One of the best ways I've ever had fish, period. Really, really delicious. Let's try the honey by itself. Wow. You know, if I didn't put lemon in there, I would have a really hard time telling the difference between this honey that I made and regular bee honey. It's that good. And the viscosity is exactly the same. Man, what a dinner. What an amazing experience.